Okay, so since last time, I offline, I did change over all the other resources to use uh, this new base resource type. Uh, some slight modifications, like a new extra couple of posts. Well, no, I already had that. But some minor modifications to the resource type. So that was all the graphics resources. The physics collision shape has been modified. And the armature down at the base. Now, that's all fine and good. It all seems to work fine. I don't have any new uh, memory leaks from any of that yet. Now comes the other part of that, and that's the resource create info, which the current base is just, that's not it. Where are you? There you are, which is just this, which is just used this way so I can use C++ as an inheritance, which again, I want to drop, which means this needs to go away. And this session is going to be dealing with that. Now, I'm pretty sure I used this in a number of locations. Yes. So I need to do a number of, well, changes for this. And I don't think I can do it in a piecemeal, like on a per resource type basis. It's going to have to be an all or nothing kind of deal. I think, like, do I have in simulation? Um, hmm. Yeah, it's going to have to be a one and all or nothing deal. So, to begin with, uh, I need to make a modification for this. Where, okay, let me look at the create info base I have here and the source that goes along with it. Create info, okay. What are the basics? It's got types, got a reference count, and it's got... A destroy function. Now, if I recall correctly, I changed up the resource to. It doesn't have a destroy function anymore, but it does have. Uh, but it's brought by the loaded context, and runs that right. In a destroy function, which is where. Wait, what? Destroy. Oh, it calls the resource. Okay, and doesn't immediately. It goes down into. Here. Here and does it okay? Hmm. Okay. And the create info I have here. Do I actually do anything with this? I should, right? Yeah. I say I have a copy of it, and then I move it in. So at any point, let's see. When I have something loaded up, let's just, okay. Um, where would this happen? Under the render? Somewhere in the render, right? Render graph? Maybe render scene in here somewhere? Or should be like a resource of some sort. Here we go, several resources. And then I'm doing, hey, you know, Get resource data let's say so let's if this is loaded then that should mean that the create info and the loaded create info are currently the same their reference counts are based on in the shared pointer mechanism code container object whatever whatever it is exactly and I'm gonna to have to recreate that on the way out of here Key, mesh, blah, blah, blah. So if I go inside of here, it goes in, that's great, that's fine. P resource is this, and I do, 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 P create info is that, and the P loaded create info is that. Okay, that's good. Presumably that's also gonna have like a reference count of two or more. So that's, so that's something I'm gonna to have to change from the automatic reference counting that shared pointer does and I'm going to have to manage that myself in the resource as well as any other locations such as in the registrar and loading functions because they're going to have to have a copy of the of this thing of flying around hmm As 
there's another thing I was going to do. Okay, actually, when I'm unloading, do I... Yeah, it's loading. That's fine. In the... Um, part of, wait, do I have... Resource unload. I go in there. I do the unload function. I locked. That's the thing that was passed in? Or what? No, that's going to... And eventually it's going to come back to here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's reset. So... Hmm. I lock it. At the end of this, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Go to this point. P resource now has a create info of something and the loaded one is gone. Okay. So first number of changes I'm going to have to do are hmm. do I when I'm getting the create info do I want to increment a handle to it or not like do I want to do inside this function or not I'm not sure because one okay one thing I have to do regardless is resource needs to be changed up to use this Let's create info info and then I need a similar one down here for resource create info loaded create info I make sure that they match. Do I even want to? Is the question. I mean, for the moment, I kind of have to. So I need to include here create info. That's great. We're gonna have a. I'm not sure if I want to change this quite yet. Info, create info that. Get create info too. Let's say something like that. You know what? Let's just go all in, right? Let's change that to that. This needs to be changed to this. Okay. Resource create info. Oh yeah, this is going away. That's great. This is also going away. That means that this should actually be able to go down here. And this can be shifted up to about here. It's load and then the unload. That's I can't do it that order because I can do it in that order. Okay, moving back to the resource side. Need to make changes so it becomes so that's that just goes away. That also goes away. So this is the associated whatever. I need to do this. This starts at zero. This starts at that. This should also start at zero. stuff. ID type and resource actually are set at the beginning, so no, not to that. The rest of these things should have, yeah.
Scrolling down to here, what we got? Importing the create info, great. We do a bunch of things where we get we get the resource information, which is what this import function is supposed to return <sighs> that. So it's new create info. Okay, it's not that. It's supposed to just be new create info. Amazing. If not equal for null handle. Then I can't do the reset. Yeah, so I need to say if key resource info not equal for null handle, then I need to say, you know, size T, is it? What, what do I, is it an, it's an int. So I'll just, okay, you know what, I'll just say auto. F count equals the resource that, uh, create info decrement ref count of resource create info if if count is zero then we just del this delete it I'm not sure. Destroy resource create info. Okay, we don't have to nullify this. Because at this point, we then say, hey, create info is going to be equal to. Do I have import create info? So we do this. Okay, I'd have to key resource sync. I need to lock this before I do this because I am unsure. Static. I know shared pointer is supposed to be a topic, but I can't guarantee that on this type right now. I don't really feel like guaranteeing it on this type, so I'm going to do it here. I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to unlock it. Here here at the end. Sync dot unlock. Great. So this is going to equal the new create info. Great. Not entirely. I'd like to maybe find a way to combine these two. Like if I if I have a boolean that says true or false, like if true, then it, it also checks if zero and then atomically destroys itself. Like auto destruct, self destruct, auto self destruct. I don't know something like that. I need to put that on for later. Let's see about auto self destruct for. Resource create info. Add that to it as a task. Okay, because I'm not going to deal with it right now. But okay, sync lock, new create info, blah 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 blah. I set it. It slowly becomes false. Sync unlock, decrement ref count for this. Do I ooh. I need to ink okay, that's actually one thing I do need to do. I need to I need to do this increment ref count for the resource new create info. Because this is going to be set regardless, right? Like that. Okay, 
Not that. Increment. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But we decrement the reference count for the resource itself at the end of this create function. Yeah. Okay. Next, in the postload function, this is equaling that. So this needs to increment. Resource is locked. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, maybe I need like an internal function that says, you know, swap create info. Swap info. So resource, resource. So um, I'm actually just going to have the implementation pointer. I'm always going to have that at this point. I should. So what's going to happen here is increment pro resource. Sheet. I need to increment the new one, create info, right? Already a lot. Calling context. That's important. So now I need to go through like if the okay. Now I just need to copy and paste from down here where I made this change. Right. Uh, da, ba, 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 if sorry here. So I decrement the, if there's already something in here. If there, sorry, if there's not something in here, decrement it. If zero, delete it, destroy it, put it in the new one. So create info. Already incremented the new one. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I do it here or down here. So I'll do it here to be more, you know, localized. Do that. We have that here. So going back down here, if not equal null handle, then we're doing this. Then we've got the p resource. The new create info. Then we're going to roll on down to here. We're not going to have this. It's going to be create info because it may not be matching. Yeah, it may not be matching the same thing that we originally started. It could have been swapped out while the resource was being loaded for whatever reason. So full resource swap info, p resource, and we got the create info. So that'll be done nicely. Oh, no, 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 this is entirely true. This is different. Oh. Okay, uh, new idea. Okay. If this not equal null handle, then we're going to say, hey, you know, that, that, that. Okay, the thing. 
PHP create info, new create info. That makes enough sense. Okay, I can work with that. So we have this and we're putting it into the create info. Passing that in, that's the new create info, that's fine. I can work with that. Down here, we are still going to O resource swap create info for P resource. P, uh, sorry, loaded create info. And we got the new create info, right? Okay. Mm, then down here, we need to do this, which gets a copy of the create info. Is that a load function? Hmm. If I can just check if it's null pointer or not here, I don't. I'm thinking of okay. Realistically, I should be synchronizing this so I can extract the create info safely and then pass that into the load function. I think, right? Or, hmm. Hmm. Okay, where is, okay, I'm gonna have the, uh, down here, this function is going to have to be, it's this. I'm gonna need some kind of like safety valve on this in some form or fashion. Okay. Sync, not lock. I need to lock this up. And then I'm gonna to have to do something to get the new stuff, so flow resource. Info return, return. Okay, just create info equals p resource create info. Okay, p resource unlock. So I need to. I I've grabbed that and I'm saying, hey, I'm going to increment it. I need to increment it locally and then pass it back saying, hey, this is already incremented. Don't additionally increment it. Yeah. And then I need to return that from here. Okay. So this is what, that's what's going to happen here. We're going to do this on, um, resource. I need to pass in resource. So we got that. I got local create info. Create info. Da, 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 da. This is basically the same thing. This should be the same th thing as up here. If I uh, do this, right? Yeah.
Yeah, what the hell was I doing in here? I get the new create info if I'm doing this. If, and then I need to do the swap. So if p resource uh, sing dot lock. that if that or that then this becomes that instead ooh crap if I'm in here then I need to create info decrement the ref count of the create info just in case it's that oh If it's not that, then we need to do this instead. This is gonna return a create info. Then I need to lock it. I need to do swap create info for um, create info. Uh, just have that with a new create info. What's going on here? Lock that, that, unlock. Decrementing the ref count because we're done with this. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Otherwise, the create info would move down into here, but it's not right now because of that. Okay, then what else? else? On the unload call, I'm just saying, okay, yeah. I'm always going to have loaded create info along with it. So I need to say, you know, if, right? I don't think there's any other way to, the resource is always loaded using a create info object of some sort. So yeah. <sighs> create info decrement ref count of P resource loaded create info, bam. Oh, and I need to check if Okay, I need to do oh Okay, I need to do like auto Mm, this is fun. Oh Equals. I want. I don't want to do that inside of the in re, inside of resources critical area. I want to do because it may be maybe more expensive than normal. So I want to do it outside of this. So I need to do this. Right? So P resource uh, to create info, and then this becomes a new one. Which is what. Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no, 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 this is right. And then
Okay, if object info not equal to uh, handle. Okay, we're doing that. We're not going to do that. If that, then we want to do follow decrement ref count of all create info uh, destroy. Okay, that, so that just leaves these two functions. Okay, where is this declared? Give it to me right here. We have this, this is just supposed to return a create info. Thank you, which is here. This type is gone. Okay, this is gonna have a whole bunch of things exploding. Perfect. So let's work on, I guess, vertex descriptor loader since that's the beginning here. This should include the create info, so that's good. Okay, uh, resource. I need to add that to the resource to say that this t this object is already pre-incremented. And then I could put a C++ a wrapper around it somewhere else. Uh, I don't like the idea of... I, don't, I can't think of a better way, really. I really... Because I could just take it and then return it, and then it's destroyed between that point. Like, I, after I get out of the critical uh, locked area, it could then be destroyed before I even return it from, a fun, from that function, this function, in another thread. So I really kind of have to increment it while I still have it locked in. There's just no other real way to go about it, to my mind. I have to be safe. I cannot afford to try to be overly smart with something as volatile as, or not volatile as. I can't be tricky. I can't be, oh, I just can't. I, I cannot afford to be overly smart with something like this. It can it's way too easily blow up in my face. So what we got? We're this is just all create info. This is create info we have it with perfect. So we have that on a vertex descriptor. Great. Uh, that also means that the base type up here is gone. Great. Hmm. That's gone. So image loader, material loader, whoop, whoop, whoa, whoa. They're gone. Uh, What's going on here? Why do I have a destructor for this? Because of these things. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cool. Cool. Um, 
Um, yeah, that's fine. Deal with it later. That. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's the wrong one. This is the one. Okay, this is just going away, right? This this type is just gone, period. It's just gone. Poof. That makes this a bit easier, doesn't it? We'll do one file at a time. So we're working on the image. Let's do that. So we don't have that. We just have create info. That's great. We just, this is gone as well. It's just create info. That's down. Create info. Down. Ooh, yes. Okay, and then we get back to get down to the source side. So, post load function is trying to make full resource post load. This is complaining because it's yeah. Create info. It's just a handle, so it doesn't even need that. And what's going down here? Create info. So we can't do that. We need to make sure return if fo info get type of create info equals the type, which is that simple super simple so about that we're going down here return if that dynamic cast gone it's got that down to here So at this point, it's already incremented, I believe. I cannot check this, but I need to make sure. Oh, I can just I can just call this here, right? If this can process info of create info, great. Then I can do that. Otherwise, and then down here. Incompatible error type. Otherwise, we say this. Whoops. Get back. So, auto star, this is equaling this. Get out of here. Pro resource. Create info. Get data of create info. Like that. Const as well. It'll be const pointer. I yeah, ain't changing it. Actually, that's something I do want to do. I want to change this to be a const. Magic. Okay. Okay, back to here. We have oh, just this. That equals that. It's great. Simple. <clears throat> Next. If that's all, um, sorry. Oh, 
I just need a mutable, mut yeah, mutable version of this. Which I shall have internally. Void star. this magic and here mm -hmm. um, do I actually need that not really that's that's dangerous because if I change it in one location not the other then I'm screwed so I'm gonna change this I'll just say it's void star I'll just cast it here. All right. So next. Same thing again. Okay. Okay. Can I just change it in all locations, please? Okay. I'll just kind of. Focus. So I want to change it here, 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 and here, 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 here. Collision shape loader here, 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 and here for the moment. Okay. Next is uh, these locations. Doing this. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Nope. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, actually, shh. No. It's supposed to be just that. That, 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 that. So I've got a few files I'm gonna have to redo somewhere. So I need to find like, what was it, image loader I think will have it, and where it's really, really weird. No, vertex? Mm. There we go. All these locations, great. Um, yeah, it's gone. Okay, we'll see about this one as well. Do that. Shrink that down. Create info across all four of these. That will be fine. Okay, next. Mm, okay, let's clear it so I actually get a clean thing to work on. Material. <clears throat> so what we got going on here, reinterpret cast of that. What's going on here? Graphics maintenance. Da, 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 da. So we've got the create info. Okay. It's not quite going to work that way. We can do that. Const that. So get data of that. That will work. It's not a move, it's just that. Mm -hmm. Close to the right. Ah, whatever. Type defs. Okay, I need to just.
if this equals what material material that Info if just double check what that is, what we think it is. We do this const, oh, yeah, um, const, 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 yes. If I just say that, is that good? Hmm. Gonna do it anyways. copy of it I it was passed into here but if I'm not going to use it I need to do oh yeah okay no no I can do it as part of the post load function perhaps right in the post load function of resource can I decrement it there I have to this because that one way or the other I'm coming out I'm, I'm exiting through that function at some point so at that point, it would be safe to in the post load function. Come on, do 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 do. I have the create info, so I have it, and I'm keeping it here. Oh man, loaded side. Otherwise, I want to decrement it here. Oh, resource create info decrement ref count. Info. Since we're not using the create info anymore. So what would happen is on load, do 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 do, yes, the old one, we did this. I use this what, three times? One, two, three times, hmm. I'm really kind of questioning my use of this now. I don't like this. You know what? No, scrap this. If not that, then we're going to do this. So this is a brand new thing. We've got it. We've got the new create info. We incremented it. Do 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 do. If to do it outside the, the, the lock a, lock area the locked area let's create blah blah blah, blah. this old create info equals nothing right now if oh no it equals 
handle. Then I need to do this. I've locked it. This equals p resource create info. Blah 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 blah. We incremented it externally. We're pulling it in. P resource create info equals new create info. Okay. It's already been incremented. That's fine. Do that. Then I want to deck out then outside of here. Okay, I'm out of here. I've dec I can decrement this because I don't need it anymore. All I need is the information I already have locally, which is to say, if old equals no handle, then I want to do the decrement and this. Something like that. Could be expensive. But it's still going to be part of this other thread, presumably other thread, but it'll be, but it won't take up time and effort as it won't lock the resource while it's doing stuff on the completely different object. If yeah. Ah, okay, I can do that. Now, where's the other location here? So what's going on here? I got the post load function, it's already incremented. So I only want to do this, where I'm going to have auto equals p resource loaded create info then p resource loaded create info equals This is a new create info. Then I want to go outside of here. Null handle. Then we've got to go through the destruction down here. I want to make sure it's done outside. Realistically, hmm, I don't want to keep it in the state for any longer. Okay, I need another thing. Old. Do this, don't do it inside of here, do it outside of the locked and counted area. Just settle. Could be expensive. Only after all that. Okay, that leaves one more location, which is where? Part of the unload, right? Okay, unload, going through the unload. Oh, was that part of the unload? That was part of the unload. It is outside of that though, so that's fine.
Okay, what was the other location then? I'm crazy. There, there is one more, right? Yeah, right here. Part of the load function. This is the same thing as this, wasn't it? I'm going to do this. So I've got a new create info. If it's not null handle, where's the auto for or that? May as well do it inside of here. So I'm only doing anything about it inside of here. So I can do the if. Hmm. That's code a couple times too many. But I'm not entirely sure what else I can do about it. Old create info equals that. Create info equals the new one. If the old one is not is not equal, old create info. Cool. Here, here. Not equal. Not equal. Mm, not equal. Okay, it was just a. Where was I? Materials. Yes, I was thinking real long and hard about, yeah, how to decrement it, but that should deal with it, I think. Um, do I actually have a thing which counts? Resource create info. Does it actually count if it has a reference? Destroying wall, yeah, okay, there is. So, next. Let's go. Next one will be mesh. get type of create info. Return if that's true. Oh, it's just that, it's that. Mm. And process create info. info. Sorry, if it's not. Oh. Not, if it can't process it, then I return an error. Error. All the way up here. If I can't process it, then we've got a problem. And then we'll go all the way down here to just pass the trade info around. Wait, I'm not passing the create info in, am I though? Ah! Uh, um. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, you know what? That's something I need to fix right now. I do. So which, 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 uh, one, two, three. Three, four, five. It's the fifth one. So one, two, three, four, five. So be create info right here. Right? Okay, that. One, two, three, four, five. That. That's not going to work very well at all. Hmm. What else what about what else am I really passing in? Create info. Okay, maybe you know what? I'll just deal with it the way it is. Unfortunately, post. Okay, that's fine. Going down to mesh, we have this, so we have that, and we have another bad case down here. One, two, three, four, five. be shader loader, right? Mm, vertex descriptor. Header. Okay. Whoa! Okay. I'm sorry, what? Wow! Okay. A actual, like, I managed to kill that LVM or Clang. Cool. Cool. Like one, two, three, four, five out of Oh yeah, I, I yeah, okay, fine. Wow, just brutal. Somehow I managed to absolutely wreck this. Simulation. The simulation function type is expecting that. Which is not going to happen. So it's create info. That. So let me actually. Yeah, that's better. I need to restart so I can get the uh, clang D uh, server backup. Give me my information. There we go. So we got that. We're going to do that here. got that and a couple of locations which means I just want to do this bam mm -hmm. no actually no 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 don't do that because I want to do it here I want to do it here I want to do it here I want to do it here
So I just realized that these functions are now, at this point, all literally the same. They were split apart because originally I used to convert things down to like the actual resource type, perhaps. I used to pass in like the resource, which would then be converted to like, you know, the, the faux material type, but I don't do that anymore. These are all literally the exact same function now. So I can just scrap them. Uh, load function. Yeah. The material, vertex, blah, blah, mesh, all gone, boom. I'm not sure about the, the import one yet. Maybe. What's going on with the import function? Um, right, yeah. We'll get, uh, we'll get to it. I'm sure we will. Registrar. Oh, okay, we're here anyways. So this type, whatever this, uh, the importer as part of IMX. No, simulation group data. This is going into the importers, but for the base class, it is returning <sighs> somewhere. It's returning nothing. No, it is right here. So that's gone. I need to include no resource create info. Great. It goes into here. That means that a bunch of other things are going to break in a second. Like right about here. That is. pointer anymore, it's just that. Create info, not, whoops, not equal, okay, no, handle, great. Means I need to go to the importer, which is now being changed off to do that. Oh yeah, this, this type's just gone as well. Get out of here. Create info. Classic. It's back to the shader loader. Now, okay, okay, uh, yep. Sorry, you're not, you don't belong here, you belong here. Equals shader create info. Create info, we pass that in. We're doing this little thing. We're going to check what it is. I'm going to change it to be auto const. What's that? Const. process do that oh and create info goes to here go down here if there's a failure here we can do it there we also got create info there and there good Move this down here Next. This is going to be a 
fun thing to debug. There's so many things changing at once. I am afraid. Create info. We're not moving it. Just doing that. This is Can process, not can process. Hour fifteen, okay. I'm so sure there's going to be deep things to debug out of this. I'm sure like I got 90% of the stuff. There's always that last 10%, which is always the hardest to deal with. Okay, what now? Uh, this is, oh, okay, yeah, this is a continuation of that. It makes sense. It means the source size is also going to have it, right? Down here. In here. Whoa, I'm sorry. Ah, that's gone. Yeah, that's true. Leaves this. We do this. We've got to create info. So the import function, resource import function from the faux YAML. Generator, which will be from here instead, right? No. Where is it getting this from then? Who? What? Where? Why? Fo YAML import generator. Generator. Here we go. Resource create function. Takes that in, which is just that. Mm -hmm. We have this create info, which is going to be just a star now. That means down in the generator. Got some changes to make somewhere if it'll actually. Or do I just not have them here? I don't have them here. Right, because they're all used through functions like this. Okay, um, I create it, I have it. Now I want to destroy it. That's gone. 
This is indeed also gone. Mm -hmm. This would have been changed up from the automatic replace. It leaves the loader. We go down here. We got this. Wait, wait, wait. Just making a copy. We're not doing any fancy move stuff. Close that up because we're now in a different. We're here. that we got in the create info. Passing that around. Doesn't seem... There's a lot less involved than when I was converting the resource type itself. Pretty thankful for that, although this is just a boring old load function now. Don't need specific ones anymore. This is also different. through that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I have separate functions, then I can say like faux physics error, uh, something import failed, like uh, collision shape import failed. I can make some mod of, I can make some specific versions, some specific wrappers. So I can actually get more detailed error information, perhaps. Mm. So I have that flexibility still. That's actually a good, uh, good thing. But I'm not going to use it yet. I want to simplify things a little bit more before I get to that point of trying to get fancy again. And this is the wrong one, isn't it? Should have been here. What are we doing? Export registration. All uh, right. What am I looking at? I've got the create info. Okay. It's not a P pointer anymore. It's a, just a regular create info type. Now I need to make sure if. Hmm. Definitions come back to haunt me. I need to say something along the lines of equals if it type of create info equals whoops image create info. Then we want to do this where we say, hey, you know, auto, like this needs to be const, right? This should be const. Why is this not const? Mm, not cool. Auto const star. Or actually, I don't even have to do that, do I? I should, just to make things easier, really. Get 
in get data from info. Like that. That's how this is going to roll. Pass that through. Oh no, that's a const, so that's fine. That's good. Something like this is what's going to be happening for the rest of these as well. Killing me. You're killing me. You know what? Just do PCI. Pointer CI. It'll be a bit easier. So, do, 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 do. Because again, this is almost something that could be reduced down a little bit. Yeah, speed specific like this. And then I kind of got to figure out this one, which is going to be like this, not quite. Okay, now we're down to the importation bit, which is <sighs> what exactly? Am I going to am I going to auto increment when I create it? No, I'm just going to create it and pass it off. Yeah. So, how is this supposed to work? Faux image. Okay, to begin with. This is we just have a local object. We just do this so that if um, I'm sorry, what am I looking at? Is it the Reference, right? Yeah, it's a reference. It's a local object. If there's an exception thrown here, we don't lose it because it was local. That's fine. I only want to create the object afterwards here. 
Now this is where the destroy stuff comes in handy because what's going to happen is we're going to have the resource create info. If I can remember what I was doing. Create info. It returns an error code. So auto equals that. Can I return an error code from this? I don't know if I can. Can I throw? I can throw an error code though. So if I do this, so I got have uh, mm -hmm. resource info create info. Not that, for one thing. I got a new trade info. Great. We're gonna have it's gonna be of this type. It's going to be I have a destroy function for it. Do I? I need one. Um one thing we have the destroy function and we have the size of this then we have and create info if there's an error code How do I throw it? Throw foam YAML. Okay, I can throw foam oh, YAML exception. Out of here. I think that's what I'm throwing out of here. It's not a YAML exception, though. It's. You, you, you can't even. I can't even go. Come on. It's a string of what? Is that it? Fo image create info is an empty type at this point. So I can understand that. So I need to, if I actually include the definition, first of all, I do that. Full resource create info. You do that, image create info is gone. That's gone. Isn't that supposed to be just a, no, that, yeah, that, that, that can stay. That's just gonna be a pointer here. But I do need to have it. I do have it. It's right here. This declares image create info. Bam. So what? You just don't have access to the destructor? Or, or what? Or does it have to be like this? Call the non-static member function without an object argument. Are you kidding me? Okay. This does make sense then. Right, because I need to include two things. I need to include that and that. Why did I include that? 
I included that just in case we're going to have like a common function that determines by type. So that is garbage. That's quite garbage. This isn't even a type that takes in that, is it? Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, uh, node name plus that, plus that, okay. Uh, if I say this is a standard string that plus error code dot what? I do this error code that dot message I could do that so yeah I need a different function for destruction of this so okay for the most part when I did resource I got rid of a lot of duplicate code unfortunately I need a little bit uh, just a tad bit more uh, code here for destroying like destroy going to take in a that it's supposed to, it's supposed to be this this is the it takes give returns nothing void so I need to do this this is Can I possibly return a failure from the destruction? I'm not even going to allow that to happen. If you manage to screw this up, which is actually quite possible, then there's nothing left I can do. It's just nothing. It's it's all over. Access elements in scalar initializer. One, two, three, four. No viable conversion from resource grade info to that. You're kidding me, right? I do include, yeah, no, that's included through that. Or is it? Resource create info. Yeah, so that's it goes to down to, yeah, yeah. So error code is here. You should have the function for auto converting it. Okay, give me a bit more. Give me, give me a bit more something I can latch onto here, please. Folks, create resource create info okay we're now here and these functions aren't even here really why what's going on wrong types the read image is correct because I changed that. But this is not. What, what's this? This is expecting that. Create info. Okay, what about that? I'm not even using this stuff.
idea why this is still here. Should I get rid of it? I mean, I can see why it's useful. I can pass, I can probably pass that through this function to just like have to create info right there from the beginning of the new resource. I'm not going to get rid of it now, but for the moment, I have no idea why this is the way it is. Or how I... I must have originally created it with it, maybe? Mm. Okay, that's fine. So it's just... Okay. Okay, it's been an hour and 40. I need to quick momentary pause, break for a drink, a BRB. Okay, and yes, right back into this garbage stuff. Next is this function. So let's go to vertex descriptor. Let's change this up. New type, do, 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 do. who this, p trade info. So the resource create info base is gone. Go on to this side. We'll actually just put this up on here so I can actually see what I'm doing here. So I have kind of a similar idea going on here. So about that here, this is going to become not a new thing of that. Just kind of put this to the front. So that's that. We got the type, which is not physics. Vertex descriptor, create info. We got a destroy function, which is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Not existing yet. that that's great and then if I need to include you include include that we got this oh yeah Then I need a function up here, which is this. It's going to be very similar to the image. Just close everything to the right. Save it for the moment. I don't know what I had. Hmm. A 
Let's just go through and just add this. We've got that. We did we do the shader? No, we have not. This whoa, wrong thing to click. That's gone. Shader. And finally, image. We already did that one. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These things need to be rebuilt real quick. Close that up. Import registration. We are on here. This function is returning that for some reason. Create info. Hmm, I thought I did this. Only on half. Okay. All those ones got that we got that we're back to here now we need to back to image cpp if there's an error code then we want to throw that otherwise we return that as normal to be expected great Fail to create do the error that's fantastic shader side Wait, I'm not even putting the data in, am I? I am not even putting the data in. Oh, I've just created the object. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm How 
do I do this? Hmm? How do I do this? Okay, let's just finish this up. This is empty. We're passing it in to do stuff. That's great. Okay, this is all kind of there. This is going okay-ish. Now, yeah, that's kind of the, that's kind of a big oversight. It's like, how do I get data in? I have, I don't really wanna, I really don't want to, um, do it after I've created it. That's, I'd really prefer it to be after it's in, it's in, it stays that way. What I can do is, okay. I have a delete destroy function, I should say. So I've got the size. What about P data? And then I have a void. move function data function something like that which takes in the destination something like that and as part of the resource create info I'm actually going to call that so I'm thinking So, hmm. new CI, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Sorry. Here. So, what I would do is I have P data function, P data function. I have P data, which I got in, and then I'm gonna like say, hey, you know what this is info source create info. Get data of equals this. I'm going to say new CI is that. We start with that. Put the data in. I mean, I don't even really need that, do I? I could just, I just basically be a copy and paste like that. Hmm. Hmm. I think because yeah, I'm passing data in, but it may be of a foreign struct type, like Rust or whatever. That's why I need to do something special with it. I don't know about it, but the whoever's calling it does. Okay, yes, 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 yes. This can work. Uh, th this is some real seemingly convoluted bollocks. But I don't know of a really better way to make a agnostic without, okay, without using C++ inheritance, I don't really know a better way to get this data in. 
without really start without exploding the code base like I had before at all. So that's how it begins. Um, so what do we have? We have and mesh ci I with mean, the new data function, which is auto. Yeah, okay. Move function, data function. Data fn equals it. Star p data void star p destination. That actually makes a bit more sense than the other ones I had from before for resource. Where's uh, p source and destination? Ooh, actually, I don't really know. P source data. Yeah, whatever. So what's going on? New, we're doing a new in place at p destination of this. Whatever it is, foe, mesh create info. I have a constructor somewhere. You're kidding me. For this thing? Mesh, mesh, mesh. Loader. Create info. No, I don't. So why? What? It's the exact same type. Fo mesh create info. Okay, one thing I do want to do is like, I have these big ass functions with a whole bunch of uh, things. I need to create, I need to change it up to be not accepting that I need to like um, change resource create info functions to accept a struct instead of many parameters. Go, go. Okay, this is taking a while. Do that. Okay, we're here. Good. So P destination, that standard move, the star, there we go, that's why. Okay, so we got that, we got NMCI, which should start off with an empty thing like that. Function next. Okay, I still actually have to define the destroy uh, functions, but you know, later.
Do I have to move the data function anywhere? No, it's just create info. There should be no external data requirements for the create info. It should just all be handled magically internally, right? I don't have like graphics resources and stuff stuck inside of create info that I need separate systems to unload. I hope, I really hope, because I don't want to deal with that too. Whoa, okay. Material CI, do, do, do this all dies, great, bam. Putting that in like that. We have all of this fancy stuff right here. I don't have the new bits. What's this? Oh, yeah, new type. Okay. Do, 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 do. here Bam. Ooh, actually yeah that's vertex descriptor shader destroy mesh material image create okay all the create infos are correct uh, it was here destroy code So we're exporting that. We're going to do that. We don't have a definition for it yet, but it doesn't really matter quite yet.
gonna swap these around actually. You over here, here. Uh, this is wait no, up here. Export resources. Okay. Shape. This is going to equal the type def that we had. If it equals that, then we want to do that. Pass through to that. We would lose the const. It shouldn't lose the const. How dare you? Yeah. Import side, here we go. Let's Which does nothing yet. Using okay, now we're back all the way down to what's going to be armature loader. So that's the last one that we need to change around. That's gone. And that is also gone. I need a for destroying that. I don't have export for this area quite yet. Moving down here. Wait, did I change? Yeah, I did change the front facing. I need to change the back. I need to see if, like, how many. Creating, we're not moving, I should say. Whoop. One more here. So just one extra. It's cal. Okay. Uh,
problems here. that armature that so that 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 and that mm, armature that and I need to include the type there Registrar. Mm -hmm. Info. And that this is not a const for some reason. Do that, go inside of here. Const, drop out all this, please. Good. Mm, got an extra one of those. The import side. It's not even doing anything. Other on import functions. bunch of little things. Okay, now we're at the point where we can actually destroy this stuff. So we'll start here, armature loader. Close everything. Including this. And we'll go start way down here. Armature of that. Armature Actually, close out. I told you. That is first thing here. Let's do that. This is basically it. So, up to physics. Next one, right about there. No, wrong. 
Let wrong physics. Shape loader. That and that and that. This is bad. Material loader. Material trade info. We do that. Okay, we actually have the stuff right here. That and that with that as a function. Great. Not, not great. I know. I don't really like it, but I can't think of a better way quite yet. I'm sure I will, and when I when it comes to me, it will be, be made better, improved. But for the moment, let's do this. So when we get down into film material create info, do I not, I just don't have a link back to the types? Is this what's going on? Film material that, I go into here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I go into here. Faux graphics resource YAML, okay. Oh, 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 I'm not exporting. I'm not exporting it, am I? That's why I'm not exporting it. Uh, that's not good, not good. I'm not exporting the, this. I'm not exporting the actual types, so this is lost. Dang, that is not cool. All right? Okay, now we got a bunch of other stuff. Such as Yeah, okay. What 
use this? Wait a minute. Group data. Include group data. What? What am I looking at here? What is this function supposed to be doing? Oh, what is M resource? Return. It's a void star. Okay. Oh, it's a dummy importer for testing. Oh, okay. I don't care then. Um. Yeah, whatever. It equals that. Who cares? Okay, actually, he cares. Hmm. <laughs> Great info. Okay. All right, so I'm just about to, I'm not even gonna try the application yet. I'm gonna grab a drink, quick break, and then we're gonna get into what will inevitably be a debugging session. So BRB. Okay. Still compiles, still compiles. Okay, that's uh, F5 and uh, look away from the disaster that's about to happen. Uh... Oh. Okay, cool. It didn't even go... Okay, it just failed outright, right at the beginning. Cool! Something in here. Okay, so this is happening because... here attempting to double free so I'm here wait 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 I okay where did I get this where on earth did I get this stuff I'm here right I ran p create I'm importing the state initially okay that's cool that's fine Importing the resource definitions, great. As part of this, it just fails really early. Just on the very initial created. Okay, so it goes through this, then it's going through to create this, right? Like right away. First object. Great. Inside, P create, great. I get the pool, that's fine. Material pool, great. Material. I add the object. Good. And then I'm going through and trying to redestroy the object? I didn't even destroy it in the first place. What is going on? What exactly am I destroying? I'm destroying... <sighs> the initial object. The initial object. Way back when, okay. This is specific to material, isn't it? Close all that. Close all that. Because it's bringing in, bringing in a bunch of extra. Close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. YAML here material. It's being initially destroyed here. This is destroying, right? Right, if I, yes, I think. If I was to hook up source material loader, go into this, the first time it's gonna it's going to run through is 
here, which is going to be on the when it's destroying after that. Yeah, and it still has the data. So what I do is say. If I'm going through here, I have to like just say material CI equals just blank. I just have to blank it out because otherwise it's going to try to call this structure on that, right? That's what's going on here. Right? Because I have that funky thing. It's going to say false, false, false. This object is now basically blank. Yeah, okay. I passed it on to someone else. Someone else's responsibility now. And now I have a different thing. Okay. If not, no handle. Then we do that. type okay well, now we've got a null thing because we're trying this because here we have a create object which doesn't we have an object that doesn't even have anything why what object do we have Okay, we're on this object which has this type, which is what? I don't know what they are yet by offhand. Off uh, so be something in here, so be 12, 13, 12. So it's a type of shader, but it doesn't actually have its stuff yet. How did it get here? So I created a whole bunch up to this point. I've created previous shaders as well, I think. So it'd always be created. Wait, resource. Because I'm trying to, okay, initializing, I'm loading this vertex descriptor type. Which is then going into here, just doing this, which is going into here, which is then loading a vertex descriptor. Cool. And then as part of this, I shouldn't have any tessellation control shaders right now. 
Did I screw this up? Did I like put it in a different fu uh, function than I was intending on a previous modification of this? No, not this one. Let's move back again. Let's move back again. Find or add. Okay, yeah. How on earth did this, does this thing think? Dang it, I missed it. I lost it. Vertex is script loader. How does it think that there's actually something here? There should be no CI should be given with this whatsoever, right? Nothing. Okay. When I create the vertex descriptor, right, I don't actually have it blanked out. That's going to be it, right? Right, 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 right. I'm actually getting better at this because I'm having less and less trouble as I go on. I'm leveling up my experience. But, I mean, okay, that's one side. It's working. How does it exit? Like, what extra memory leaks do I have now from probably mis incorrect reference counting? A lot is the answer. Or not as many as I expected. <gasps> Actually, it's none. You're, you're, you're BSing me. The 24 bytes from the YAML, the other 24 bytes from the YAML, which I've always been having, and then these two. That's it. Are there anything? Okay, the, the... Create info. Zero. Just search for zero. There, um... No. Control F. F. Control F, there we go. What? It's actually just fine. I mean, there's still these two memory leaks from like that I've been dealing with for a while, but that's it. Just like 10 minutes of debugging for all of that. It just feels wrong. It feels wrong. Oh, but uh, the, okay, whatever. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. I'll just come up with a commit message for the rest of this and I'll just put it up, put it in, I guess. There's nothing else for it. So with that, I guess I'll just call it a night. So uh, until next time, cheers.